Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another Rapture packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. Right, I managed to actually go in the correct shop and we're having one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. There it is, brothers and sisters. The new chicken fowl mega hot curry. Now, I've just been corrected. It wasn't me. I was at work. Lou went in Heron Foods and got it. So I, I'm, I've got. I'm telling you this because I need to ask a question. Lou, how much was it? Two pound odd, I think. Two pound twenty nine, two pound seventy nine, less than three quid anyway. Uh, and it's been done to death on YouTube. I've only just got round to it. Obviously, I've been looking around the wrong shops for it. Oh, it's limited edition. Uh, cooked chicken pieces of tomato curry sauce with peppers. Uh, apparently, it's mega hot and it microwaves in 18 and a half minutes. We are going in the Chernobyl machine, so uh, we're not going to mess around. We're going to do it for five minutes. Uncover it, stir it, and do it for three minutes. Uh, it should do it. Eight minutes should be enough. For anything, eight minutes in the microwave should cook anything. Ah, uh, dear, dear. It says keep frozen. We have done it. So it's frozen solid. It's down there. Frozen solid. Uh, cooked chunky piece of chicken breast and a very hot onion and tomato curry sauce with red peppers. And it's got mustard in it. Uh, there you go. The warning it may, it may have some bone in it. If we got some bone in it, we'll find it in between the mustard. Uh, basically, that's it. Yeah, I've not watched anyone's videos on this. I know a lot of people have done it and reviewed it. So I will watch them at a later date when I know what I think of this. So uh, let's get down there. I'll have a shufties at it. Well... There, it was already out of the sleeve. It's just so I can pick it up and manoeuvre it around. Not that it's going anywhere. It's a block of ice. <laughs> uh, chicken falcon tears mustard. Sorry about that. Uh, Pierce film lid several times. So, have you only seen it? Before we do that, look at that in there. Got some bits of chicken in there. Got a sauce. <coughs> Hoping this is pretty good. Heron Foods. I've done some curries and they are pretty good. I think I did the vindaloo and it was really good. There you go. With the world's sharpest knife. Crap. Right, I'll see you in eight minutes. It's done, brothers and sisters. It has been eight minutes. Now, I did stir it halfway through. Well, five minutes in. And uh, I've got to say, it peeled off like, if you can see it, peeled off very very easily and they come off again very very easily yes so uh as you can see it's bubbling it's bubbling they got they got the oil in there oil coming through which makes for a good curry it smells spicy it looks spicy i bet it is spicy right now it's absolutely scorching hot because of the microwave so uh what i'll do is I'll let that rest for five minutes and I'll get in a bowl. Then we're going to get up here and slide it down my gizzard. There it is, brothers and sisters. It smells good, but it smells spicy. I've got my blobby on as well because the bowl is absolutely scalding hot. It's burning my fingers. So, anyway, wait, it further a doof. Further a doof. What's my name? Bonapple teeth. Let's get in my gizzard. Right, I'm going to go for the sauce first. Because I want to get a measure of just how hot this is. I think someone's just run into the kitchen door and I think it's Kieran. Storm Kieran's on its way apparently in the UK. We've had Storm Kieran for seven years. Sorry about that. I had to sort the storm out. <laughs> that is burning back in my throat by the way, brothers and sisters. Tasty good. It does have a bit of a harsh taste to it as well. But that might be just the chilies in it. I've, I've not actually looked to see what chilies are in it. I just read mustard! And that were it. In fact, we'll get I'll have a shufties in a second. 
chicken. Let's see what 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 quality this chicken is. A little bit chewy, but it'll do for me. That it'll do for me. Listen, I appreciate though. If you have that, you buy this and you buy it for home or you buy it for dinner or tea. You can have it with rice or my personal favourite on a pile of chips. Not just in a bowl, eating it like a heathen. A northern heathen. Up to now. It's not that hot. It's got a kick to it. That's me. I don't know anyone else would be uh, it affect it. Tapioca starch, red pepper, red chilli puree, spices, garlic, ginger puree, uh, starch, chilli powder, crushed diced red chillies. So it's got, it's not really got any of the massive, you know, big hitters like habaneros and uh, ghost chillies or Carolina Reapers in there, has it? It's just basically crushed red chillies and stuff. This is the back of my throat's on fire, but it's not. It's not what it looks like on that. It is good though. A little bit hot to eat right now because it's just come out of the cooking process, but very tomatoy. Does it say it's a tomato based one though, doesn't it? But what do you want for two pound odd? I'll, I'll Google it, or I'll find the receipt, and I'll put the I'll put the price it cost on screen there right now. Yeah, I know it's not a lot. Not I know it's not a lot of money. That it's not the best I've ever had. It's not the worst I've ever had. It's a little bit harsh, a bit acidic. I think that's just, that's probably the chilli powder. But in all in all, for the price it costs, what do you want? There it is, brothers and sisters. The chicken fowl mega hot curry from Heron Foods. Still not sure what the price is, but I'd have found out. Wanna? It's there. It's how much it is. And do you know what? It's not the best I've had, it's not the worst I've had. But I did kind of like it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. Bah! I'll make up a family member of hashtag Team CT. B, where I fucking love you.